I, is it an upset for Biddy? Because Biddy's yeah. a very strong player, but like again, been out of the scene for a while. So that's definitely an upset because okay. uh, Biddy has been ranked on the multiple PRs for quite some time. Bryce hasn't been ranked in a minute as well, and um, Biddy just as a whole would say have, have better results for the most part. So that is definitely yes. an upset. Yeah. So that has not changed since I was gone. Good to know no. Biddy's still up there. I mean, Bryce is, you know, an amazing player. Don't get yes. me wrong, but like that is that is technically an upside. Yes. No, I was actually talking about Bryce earlier. That, like I said, when I last saw Bryce, he was like a middle level player. Like he was just kind of like starting to push that echelon. And now that I've returned, I see him running toe to toe with Rivers and. Oof! Yeah. Such good damage on that jab. Yeah, for sure. Another Gordo. It's not like Rob, man. It's not like, you know, like, yep. uh, it's not like Isabel can just absorb the gyro. Like, he can keep throwing those out because that is technically a projectile as opposed to an item yes. that Rob can create. So that is why that's... Uh, oh, that back air going to kill it 100%. Mm -hmm. Beautiful DDD's place back power right behind now. that hammer. Low profile, too, right there by the ledge. You know, he's able to swing it, just cover that, uh, what do you call it, cover that neutral getup from a safe distance yes. as well, which is a beautiful thing. This is a matchup that can definitely be considered kind of annoying for uh, for DDD. He's a very, very big body, you know, so if he, uh, if it's a low-level DDD Ooh. who doesn't know how to deal with, like, you know, uh, what should I say, the slingshot, all yes. that easily, it can definitely spell a rough time for... Uh, oh, good forward tilt uh, there. Uh, yeah, for sure. Zircon challenging that, uh, the, the suction. What, what is his? Is it still inhale, the same with Kirby, or does DDD have his own uh, version? It's his own version now because he, he can uh, yeah, but inhale I mean, the, the, and spit the name. projectiles out. Is it still called inhale? Like, yeah, the, same thing, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't lose sleep over it. All right. I <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Okay. Oh, did Woo! you see that? The Lloyd. Wow. Extending the hurt box of the reflected Gordo, carrying the Gordo to the ceiling and popping DDD out of the air. That wow. was a wow. And striking back. This is just two stocks back to back. Just. That was such like an intelligent play from Mr. Zircon, and then Bryce was just like, I'm just going to use my multiple jumps yeah, right here just, and just swing. I was like, it's a shame all that work you just put in. I'm just going to swing my hammer, and that'll be that'll be the end of that. Definitely a good uh, benefactor to DD in this matchup for sure. So many characters would be able to would not be able to contest with a recovery as good as uh, Isabel's. Yes. For sure, you know, they'll be able to throw their projectiles at it if it goes oh. at that kind of angle, you know, try and pop the balloons. My man DDD's got multiple jumps, you know, not probably among the worst air speeds in this game. I think the worst, actually. Uh, last time I checked, but uh, those multiple jumps can pretty much just allow DDD to create a wall yes. for Isabel to be able to make it back. But when you when DDD's not making that wall and trying to exploit Isabel off stage, Isabel has all the stage control in the world, which is what Mr. Zircon is definitely showing you guys right here against Bryce. This is where DDD would definitely struggle in this matchup, just getting turned into a literal pinata <laughs> by I mean, Isabel that, right here. The, She's uh... just trying to pop it, dude. That's kind of the problem of heavyweight characters, especially in Smash, is that they, they exchange um, heavy damage and strong hitboxes for juggle states and like being able to get abused. But in a game like Smash, where it's not a HP-based fighter, those advantages aren't necessarily strong enough to keep them in the higher tier list. Oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta know whatever like you gotta know whatever weird little things your low tier character yes. has to be able to go up against that. I mean, these are both, you know, arguably like low tier characters. I mean Isabel is generally considered to be a low tier. DDD, I've heard people say other things, but that's a debate for another time for sure. But no, like you'll see on other fighting games, like Street Fighter Five, will say Abigail. You can you can mess with Abigail all day, but he can kill you in three or four hits. Yeah. And this DDD could theoretically kill him in three to four hits if he has a read, but. And we're going to game two with these players. The rising there, stuffing out the jump from uh, stuffing out the jump from Bryce right there. Zircon on a great lead right now. Oh yeah, I like that air dodge away to get away from the forward tilt right there. He did it in the same general direction, but he was still able to survive it somehow. Yes, just didn't just was like got around the hitbox. And Isabel whipping out the up air right there, and a, a very relatively slow move in comparison to Villagers. You know, it's not as strong, and it still has that same RNG factor, I believe. But I guess the character as heavy as a uh, DDD, a big one who would probably I can imagine oh. struggling to land. I can see that being not the easiest time. For That's a great punish to uh, DD's inhale. Oh, very good. Avoiding the stars from the landing up B into a punish, but not enough to take down DDD's weight. That time it will be, though. Yeah. Good back air. Really good patience from Zircon, just repositioning himself on the platform right there, waiting for Bryce to be able to make his way back up, knowing that no matter what option he would have been able to do, a retreating back air would yes. have been able to cover something right there. Regardless, even if he rolled and he missed, I doubt DDD oh would have been goodness, able to punish that damage. right there. God! Bro, oh. you're at 100. 
That came out of nowhere, that damage. They're out of right now. now. You're dead. Good forward smash. Wow, and Bryce Yo, just hopping up in his seat. He's even laughing about it. He knows that was sick. Yo, Zircon not uh, sit, not taking this lying down. Could not tech that. I believe that was one He's of the He's got to take that one lying down, though, because I don't think he could have tech that. No, either. I don't think it was techable. He was at low enough of a percent where most back he would have been able to tech, but not can one we, of the strongest. Can we talk about this turnip sale going on? 80 damage worth of turn That's right what I was there. saying. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much how slow that move is. If like uh, Mr. Zircon is actually able to land it against a body as big as DDD's, yes. it just becomes that much more easier for you to actually be able to double. It's oh! common sense, really. You're covering every that single damn insane. thing in the world. You're going to jump after this roll somehow if I miss the forward smash? You're getting caught up in that Lodron. Rocket. I'm just going to jump up, side B you, up air you, something. If I had a damn Gordo, he probably exploded <laughs> on him at the end of that too, but I'm not sure if he did. And that then the forward smash just covering the roll as well. Bryce had one good option there in neutral getup. Or well, actually two technically, or getup attack probably would have been fine as well. Uh, but. Maybe. 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 You have Natunist and nobody on the mic right now. Just in <laughs> case they refresh your memory. I'm terrible with the names. I'll remember I, it, though. I, I got to take a shot with Chris. I, I, I got to take a shot at Chris. I love Chris. He's my favorite person in the world. Oh, you don't have a Twitter doc? Just write Vex. I do not have a Twitter. This is correct. Just write Vex.com or something. <laughs> and then when people type it in, it's something horribly obscene. That should you know, the sad thing is I actually do have a Twitter, but I haven't used it in, like, six years. So, like, right. it exists, but <laughs> yeah. there ain't no one on it. Back air there to get him off. Already 64%, oh continuing the onslaught Zircon. edge guard right there. Using that forward smash to try to catch a beefy up E right there. I'm not sure if that move hits below the ledge. I don't think it does. Now, the thing here is, like, how is Bryce going to adjust to this? Like, after that second game, he's got to be thinking, like, how, what part of me was downloaded? Like, what has Zircon changed up? I think more than anything, Bryce really needs to change up his habits in uh, trying to regain stage control and in disadvantage. Yes. When, he <coughs> when he's by the ledge, Zircon, after that first game where he lost, realized I can ledge trap the hell out of this character. Pretty much as hard as he can ledge trap me, if not harder considering the amazing recovery that Isabel has, you know? Because of her up you know, being able to just, you know, drift in and around stuff. I think that is where Bryce is going to be, like, struggling right here. See? I like what he did right there and just falling back to the ledge right oh, there. Oh, that was up such a good cover with that trap. I didn't even know the trap was there. For I sure. lost track of it. By the ledge he decided to just drop down and re-grab the ledge right there because I mean it's a relatively unorthodox option but he knows he hasn't done it yet yes. and therefore I don't think Mr. Zircon would have really expected it unless he just had some godlike read out of like nowhere where he decides to guess that is where I would be doing the adjusting for Bryce right now just trying to do different things mixing up every time how you're gonna get off the ledge and what you're gonna do in disadvantage Oof. because that is exactly where Bryce is just getting called out a lot you know he's just getting called out on his jump safely with side B right there and Bryce just isn't always picking the best option to get in and around that. Like right there, he fell with an inhale right there to be able to reflect it back, and it just wasn't enough. It, like, Mr. Zircon is just doing all the safe options, keeping his distance away from TDD. Knowing that, knowing that he can. Yep. Isabel, it's a slingshot. What are you going to do against that? Zircon when, is when you're playing that this matchup thick, very cleanly. It's just that she's creating a space where uh, Bryce is having issues getting in. Like, when his two options right now are kind of walk forward with shield, which she's challenging with fishing rod, like as we just saw right there, and fall slow, fall ins with nares, which hasn't been paying off as strong as it was in game. Oh, all right. That's something. That time, I think you could have teched. <laughs> you could it. definitely have teched that one. Yeah, the light appeared. Good oh reset my goodness. right there off the, of the hit of the slingshot. What a strong jab a lock. Oh my Stuck. Goodness. Not sure if up air would have killed right there, but it definitely would have done some I think a triple damage. turn up would have killed there, but like it's RNG which turn ups you get. Yeah. Sakurai really seems to love RNG, doesn't he? Well, he, he does think this is a party game. He's wrong, but <laughs> Sakurai is wrong about his own game. He thinks it's both. He thinks Smash is whatever you, like, the people want it to be. He's gone on record saying that. That's that's the PR in him, I think, in his soul. He's like, nah, no, it's a party nah, game. Nah, 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 he changed. Things have changed. The money changes things. It, the money does change things. The money does change things. Just look at Blizzard. Anyway. Yeah, so game anyway, number... uh, let, let's avoid that before I get banned from this tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. This is game number four, I believe. Does yes. count? Yeah. No, wait. Did I lose count? Am I stupid? I, no, I think that this is game four. I can we just had game yeah. three. Yes. There we go. Yeah, Mr. Zircon. Fighting his way back on. after losing game one. Final destination is the pick. Vex, you have any insights? Uh, I think this is going to help him out a lot. Because, like, DDD has been having a lot of issues coming in from above. And when you have platforms in the way, you, Isabel knows where DDD is going to have to land. Mm -hmm. I like the open skies here, because he can he, with DD's multiple five jumps, he can kind of float around right above Isabel's head and wait for the moment to come in, but Isabel just with those traps. 
got caught with and his own Gordo yet again. I think Bright, like, is calling them out at the wrong times here. Like, he's trying to land with Gordos, but uh, Zircon's been constantly ready with both Pocket and um, just countering them. There you go. Able to land. Getting that, that was what I was saying earlier, where rod. you try to approach on the ground, you're getting uh, fishing rotted. Goodness gracious. He landed in such a free zone like he was able to yes. because of the lack of platforms, but then he just got stuffed out with it like off his landing, just trying to do more of a ground approach. Well, that was weird right there. He went right past the ledge, probably beefed up past it, holding down to be able to get past it, I believe. Is that. that was such a good follow. Yeah. Bryce needed that. Yeah, you definitely need that to be able to make it back. You're at 100% uh, on your second stock already while your opponent is still on his first one. Yes. You got to get those kills by the blast zone like DDD is patented to do. And it's just so rough because, like, DDD, like, is kind of a, uh, not really a zoner, but, like, a sort of a trapper, and trapper in himself. You know, with uh, side B Gordos, even though, you know, yes. you just got to have some patience by the ledge. That oh is the back there takes the stock. Killed there. Killed DDD at 120. It just doesn't even matter little for a character dog. like Isabel, you know, because you get that side beat out and just pocket, just pocket, you know, you're off, you're free. I think one of the biggest things that Bryce needs to work on in this matchup, especially if we see game five, is he's not contesting those traps. He's letting those traps sit. Even if he knocks Isabel away off stage, he's prioritizing trying to set some lamp rather than maybe just shield rolling over the trap to get rid of it. And that comes back to bite him a couple times. Yo, yeah. very good. This is still Bryce's game to like come back from. Oh yeah, he only needs one more of those to be able to close this out right here. And then that quick down throw to the Nair. Clean 19 damage to good, start with. Good four till he stuffed him with the, the... Oh my god, with the long oh, trap good right grab. there. Oh, it to explode. And just like that, Bryce is actually in the lead on this Woo! edge of the spike! That is that is the motivation Bryce needed. And look, he looks so happy. He's like, ooh, that, that felt good. He's he's He shows his emotions on his face. Usually the happy ones. Yes. Which, because, you know, regardless if he's bodying or if he's getting bodied, always laughs it up. One of the most cheerful guys in the scene for sure. One yes. of the nicest guys. Ever and we're gonna met. watch this again. Look at this. Forward air into forward air into wait for it. Wait for it. Down air. Like he he bluffed that forward air three empty jumps before deciding on the down air. Gorgeous. My goodness. That's another. That's you know the, another thing that DDD is capable of. You know he doesn't have the best airspeed in the world despite having multiple yeah. jumps. So some people think well, maybe multiple jumps good for him. It's for situations like that where you can sit there. There you go, utilizing Just those big, big hitboxes. DDD's technically got a sword in that big old hammer yeah. that he's got right there. Having multiple jumps, waiting to be able to swing him out. All no right, other so character in the game really has that. Tana except City. for Meta Knight, but Meta Knight has like a knife. It's <laughs> not really a sword, not the same thing. It's kind of like Joker. But anyway, so the final match yeah. of this set is going to be on Town and City, which is interesting. It's the kind of the in-between of the stages they've been playing so far. Yeah, for sure. You know, it is Final Destination half the time, except with much higher vertical blast yes. zones. And that is something that is definitely going to help Mr. Zircon live off the top just a little bit longer. He doesn't well, have to worry about the up thing. there as much. Zircon has been surviving off the top, and every game so far, it's been uh, Bryce that's been dying off the top to Rocky Gordos. Yeah. So I feel like that uh, extent, the higher ceiling is actually going to benefit Bryce. Uh, yeah, for sure. It'll benefit both of them when it comes to that, but yes. you got a good point, you know. It's definitely going to favor Bryce more in that regard. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Oh, good Nair the option there. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, good rising yeah. one right there to be able to just, okay, I need a hitbox right here really quick because I know this is exactly where Zircon is going to be. I need something to be able to mash out of my disadvantage right here. And he did oh, What's right the op? Good drop down into tilt. Like it. Oh, the back. He followed that. He jumped right. He jumped with Isabel and followed with her and then smacked. I love it. And the crouching taunt right there. The Bryce special. Oof. Watch out for that trap. I'm surprised that uh, didn't trade. Isabel just took that. Oh, rolled right over the trap. Good. Now the trap is out of play. See, he's being smart now. He's getting rid he's he's recognized that the trap has been causing him a lot of deaths. And he's now prioritizing getting rid of it before. For sure. DDD's definitely starting to sober up. He can start he can see those at the <laughs> yes. bottom uh, He can see those at the bottom of the the, the stage for sure. Oh, hanging that on right it. there. Beautiful stuff. It didn't kill, but I love the... I just love the option he was going for right oh! there. Utilizing the multiple jumps to be able to get that Nair and then spiking him into the depths once again. Bryce, yep. what's the turnaround? Zircon with his tournament life at stake here. Back against the wall, 48% with Isabel down. Oh, okay, good. He's, all right, who took one of the stocks? He still has a second stock to work for before he can be really back on the board here. Yeah, I like what he did there, not committing with the multi-jab right yes. there, knowing he could have gotten grabbed off of that. Zircon was sitting very comfortably in that shield. Good pivot grab, forward air. Ooh, that's, Classic. that's a true combo out of that throw. Uh -huh. Good Nair into the up air, not going to kill, but that's a lot of damage. It did! Well, really? No, that was bad DI, no lightning, no nothing. Just Had to have been. I mean, it does send you in 90. the opposite direction right there. Very... 
Very anticlimactic ending right there to that set. We didn't it's even get lightning nor a freeze happy. frame or nothing. Definitely not happy about that. I mean, he was up 2-1 and he got yep. like... He got clutched out game four and then solidly adapted game five. It's just it's the classic story. Couldn't hold on. And I loved the adaptation from Bryce right yes. there. He started to utilize multiple, his, uh, the fact that his character has multiple jumps, not only offstage to try to wall out this character, which it's not an easy thing to do against Isabel yes. just because she has a very non-linear recovery yep. that, can, that she can recover back from just about anywhere. But he was utilizing it on stage as well to be able to bait 